Sarah, we know this is difficult for you. But why don't you try giving your father a chance? He's back and he wants to make amends. I don't want his amends. I don't want anything from him. We're not asking you to forgive him. We just want you to try to understand his perspective. And what perspective is that? My whole life is a big fat lie. Sarah, we just want what's best for you. Yeah. What's best for me right now is to stay away from that man. This is Ian and Yona. I tell no, you, at the dancers meeting. Hey, Chandra. You never tell me what all that shouting was the other day. It's Rose, Sarah and Priya. Brother's teacher in primary school, Miss Ortega. <laughs> she should be setting a better example. They were helping Sarah vent her frustration. Sarah has frustration? What frustrations? These young people always have frustrations. Angry cannot help shout. Yeah, I agree. Self-control. Huh? Uh. Well, sometimes you just need to let it all out. So, got used or not? Did Sarah feel better after that? Well, you'll have to ask her yourself. She'll share stuff on social media, but telling me about it is impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as David. He says, I don't get it because I'm a boomer. <laughs> I don't even dare ask him what a boomer is. Eh? Yeah. Last time, I no social media. We only play marbles and catch spider at the Long Kang. <laughs> the only website I know is Spiderweb. <laughs> yeah, young people are exposed to so much more nowadays. It's FOMO, JOMO. Uh, Bumbo, Jumbo. <laughs> well, if you know, shouting helps Sarah feel better, then shout away. Yeah, but keep it before 10 p.m. only, eh? Yes, Grandma. Thank you, my dear. I'm such a scatterbrain. Now I can buy my coffee. Hey, kiddo. Wait, is this a trap? Do you pretend to forget your wallet? Talk to your father, OK? I'm going to go back to work. Sarah, wait. I have nothing to say to you. Listen, kiddo, I... Stop calling me that. I'm not a kid anymore. Right. OK. Look, I know what I did was stupid, and I can never make it up to you. But I need you to know that I did it because I love you. And I didn't want to lose you. I want to say something. Um, Mama, Baba, I was just thinking, when Hafi and I get our own place, you guys should move in with us. <laughs> You want to move out and ask to move in. How is that different from now? Well, for one, we can get rid of those loan shops. We just moved. We haven't fulfilled the minimum occupancy period yet. We can appeal for you to sell this place under special circumstances. And besides, we can get a housing grant if you live with us. Um, <clears throat> there's one more problem. We can't really afford to buy a new place right now. It's just a slum. Meanwhile, we can all pitch in. We shouldn't intrude. Mama, you took Iskandar in. We've intruded on you far more. Listen, it will be nice for us all to be together. Hmm? So, I take that as a yes? I'm sorry for that one line. I can never go back on it. But you know, the thing was, I just wanted to keep you in my life. Hey, remember when we used to uh, go get ice cream together? You know, just the two of us? I miss those days. I miss them too. Sarah, I'm going to make things right between us. And I want to be there for you. I love you so much, kiddo. Daddy! Max, Bridget. I am so sorry. I should have discussed it with you first before telling them about the moving in. I just wanted Baba to get out of his bad mood. And I'm sorry my Baba was so nasty to you and your ayah the other day. 
I know he's just disappointed about your shoulder. And I know you just want to keep our family safe. They're always looking out for us. Yeah, but you're scared to disappoint them. When am I going to find the money to buy a new place? I haven't closed a big deal in months. Wait, I? There are two of us. I know, but I'm the main breadwinner here. Maybe I could pick up some part-time jobs. Join Baba at Belmoral Hardware. Sayang, have you thought about what you're doing? Huh? I mean, you were doing great when you first started. You can't be a bad property agent overnight. Okay, have you been doing things differently? Have I? No, I don't think so. It must be something. Hmm? <sighs> I feel like I've tried everything. Okay, um, worst come to worst, we could sell your trophies and badminton rackets. I'm sure some collector will be interested. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I had a hard time getting them back from Paling even after I paid Anthony back. There's no way I'm letting them go again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't worry, Zaya. I'm sure your business will be back on track in no time. How about modelling? I mean... I have a pretty face, right? Auntie Rose? Auntie Rose? Ah! Rose? Uh, Rose. <laughs> I haven't seen Sarah in a few days. How is she? She's okay. Just uh, trying to figure some things out. I'm sure. The situation with Sarah and Auntie Evelyn is like so complicated. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the way. Thanks, but there's nothing... You know, actually, if you could keep an eye on Sarah and let me know if you notice anything's off, that'd be great. Sure. Hi, Siskanda. How are you, thank you, Rose? Rose. Rose. You should have told me that you were flying in. I could have picked you up from the airport. Yeah, but Max wanted to surprise you, dear. Well, I'm surprised. Hey, Max. I'm your sister. You don't remember me, do you? Hey, Sarah. How have you been? Not up to more mischief, I hope. Nope. Care to share more about what's been going on? It's our secret. <laughs> <laughs> You've been away for so long, so I thought I'd come back and check on you too, just to make sure that everything's okay. Yeah, I was away in Jakarta last week and uh, flew in yesterday, so things are okay. Was it difficult flying with Max? Yeah, what do you think? You hate long flights. Yeah, but I did it for Max because he misses his dad. Ever heard of video calls? Ah, I guess not. You never called me. Uh, well, I'm here in, in person now. Isn't that more important? There you are. Did you talk to Sarah? Oh my goodness, Bridget. Is that you? In the flesh. Maxie, darling! So, you were checking in on Jonathan and Sarah? Oh, there's nothing. It's about my O-levels. I wanted to retake it as a private candidate, but that wants me to go back to school, so... We've been arguing over it and Grandma's worried. Hmm. Hey, Hafiq. How's your training been? Yeah. When's your comeback tournament? Oh, hey. Father and son training together again, huh? Ah, hey, we are rooting for you, you know, to bring home another world championship. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah. It's not happening. Huh? Huh? My shoulder injury is worse than we thought. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Huh? Like that, how? You have to retire from uh, badminton for good, huh? huh? Yeah. Whoa. Hey, hey Brian. No need to worry, huh? Your son still has his proprietation job. Yeah, at least he was once a world champion. Oh, correct, correct, correct. Yeah. One still better than never, right? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Correct. Hey, come, come, come. Yeah. Sit down, sit down. Sorry, I got your hopes up, Baba. I should have told you about my injury sooner. It's better, lah. As long as you're happy, son, I'm happy. Hey, 
I just wanted to thank you for not telling Bridget about Evelyn. It would have ruined our marriage. I didn't do it for you. I did it for Max. Unlike me, he deserves a proper family. Hey, I know I messed up, but I want to make things right with you. Is everything that simple to you? You can't make things right just by apologizing. You ruined my life. Guess what? Bridget and Max are coming over to our place. Great. Just what I need. A happy family reunion. Oh, i better let Rose know. And Rose made the spare room as comfortable as she could. And Sarah's made it hers. Yep. Shall we have some tea? Sure. Perhaps you can help Olivia with this? Yeah, no problem. I think it's a good idea for you to retake your O-levels. Right. Being in school would give your father a peace of mind. Work stressful enough. Worrying about your studies... I didn't screw up my exams on purpose, okay? I know you didn't. But Max misses him so much now that he has to spend so much time here with you. Ooh. He's hardly here. This place is like his transit stop between flying around the region for meetings. Really? I don't even see him half the time. He barely made it to my birthday party. He calls me when he's in town and he flies off again. You mean he doesn't tell you which country he's going to or who he's meeting with? Uh, talking about birthdays, uh, here's something from Germany. Thanks. I'll see you outside. Bridget! Hi, Rose. <laughs> oh, I heard you in town. Come, come. Just in time to have some tea. What? Give it to your brother. What is it? Doesn't matter, just give it. <laughs> Uh, Max? Yeah? Do you want this ambulance? Do you want this ambulance? Oh, a little toy from your big sister. How thoughtful! Maxi, do you know that you're my half-brother? So that makes me your real sister. Yeah. Your daddy is my daddy. It's like we're two pieces of the same puzzle. Even though we don't look like each other, but we still can fit together. What did you do? What did you do? I... My big boy? You could have killed him! It's just a little stumble. He's fine. Relax, Bridget. Max is going to be fine. So, what do you want to talk about? Sarah's O's. Preparation, how's it going? Yeah, it's going. Well, haven't you been supervising her? What? I'm trying to cut her some slack. Slack? I don't want her to screw this up again. Look, she's been going through a hard time, John John. I don't want to add her pressure. Her friend dying, is that what you're talking about? That was months ago. And you're encouraging this Gen Z, I need to be protected from the perils of life and death because I'm made of cotton wool behavior. Look. You practically chucked her here. Let me handle it my way, okay? Your ways are almost flunk her O's and you call yourself a teacher? Okay, you need to shut up right now. She needs stability. She has stability. Oh, right. Jumping from one bad relationship into another. And then you even quit your job right when the going got tough. And what kind of example does that set for her? Rose, you have got to be more responsible. What the? More tea. Thank you. Sexy boy, you know what it's time for? We have to test your blood. Maxi, huh? How are the clinical trials going in Germany? Uh, it's helping a lot. He has a better quality of life now. And you? Living with a child with type 1 diabetes is hard. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. I've woken up in the middle of the night so many times, wondering if I forgot to check his blood sugar. Found Max unconscious a few months ago. He was hypoglycemic. Oh no! Jonathan never told us. He didn't want to worry you. Max's blood sugar level was so low, we couldn't get it up no matter what we did. It's the race with the hospital that gets me 
all the time. John and I are trying to get used to it, but it always catches us when we're least prepared. 8.4. Good job, Maxi boy. My brave boy. You dumped Sarah on me, and now you're talking to me about responsibility. Nope, not again. I am not doing that. I'm walking out. No, you don't get to. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. No, it's not. I'm sure we can all calmly discuss this over some tea. I don't think so. Hey, I'm sorry that I brought up Sarah's all levels again. I mean, I know Sarah can be a handful sometimes, and I haven't thanked her enough for taking her in. But that is end results aside. Actually, Sarah did really well for prelims, but around her O levels, she had a lot to deal with. It's a pity about her best friend, but even before that, Sarah was already getting into a lot of trouble. Yes, I admit Sarah was difficult when she first came, but on hindsight, I think we didn't have a common vocabulary. That's all, and now we do. No, that's wrong. And Sarah's grown up so much since Dad. then. Sarah, Dad. is everything okay Dad. there? Dad. They're playing. Dad. You know what? I think Max is tired. We've got to go. Come, we go. Okay? Let's go. Sam, hmm? do you think it'll be okay? We've supported Hafid as much as we can. Now we have to trust him. Only he knows what's best for himself. But what if he's just putting up a brief fund for us? What did you say about being a sports person? Other than skills to play the sport, it makes us strong and resilient, then? I think he'll bounce back from whatever setback he's going through now. I know. But I don't want to be a burden to him. Now he wants us to move in with him and Katija when they get their own place. I don't want him to feel like he has to take care of us. Sayang. Just be glad that our son wants us to be a part of his life. That means, as parents, we must be doing something right. I guess I'm being too protective. You can't help it. You come up at you. Well, that was quite the family reunion. I have to admit, I never really cared for Max before. But now that he's older, he's so much cuter and fun to be around. Well, in a way, I feel sorry for him. What? Why? Well, I think he's going to get smothered by Bridget. Maybe Sarah is the lucky child in the family after all. <laughs> Sarah, are you OK? I've thought about it, and I've decided to make peace with that for now so I can get to know Max better. He is my half-brother after all, but I don't know if Bridget will allow it. Why not? She hates me and she clearly wouldn't let me anywhere near Max. Bridget doesn't hate you. Look, she even got you a present from Germany. Open it. Ooh. <laughs> would I wear this? Wow, she really put a lot of thought into that. OK, come on. Hmm. Bridget, Sarah doesn't need your pathetic teeth. <laughs> okay, go on. Write down your thoughts. <laughs> you can use this to wipe your. Oh my goodness, that's not very ladylike. <laughs> High five. Nice. Hey. When your shoulder is better, maybe we can play badminton again? If you still can, lah. Just for fun? Casually, I guess. See what the doctor says. But it's gonna be a while still before I recover. It's okay. Maybe you can play with Baba. Play what? 
Badminton? It was fun the other day. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, I trained Hafik to become a badminton champion. Maybe I can do the same for you. <laughs> I just want to play for fun. <laughs> Training is fun, right, Hafik? Um, it can be. I still remember those training sessions I had with Afik. Those were really good times. Even better than the actual matches. I miss them a lot. Now I can never have them with you again. Hey, come on, Iskandar. The other day, you almost beat the Shatokok champ. Hey, I was injured. Sure, Chi. Sounds fun. Hey, okay. Let's do it. I'll turn you to a badminton superstar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was fun. Sometimes destruction is just what the doctor ordered. <sighs> Sarah, this is your home, okay? You're part of this family. Do you notice how Dad's always quiet in front of Bridget? Yep. <laughs> that woman has a way of cutting everyone down to size. Well, I'm not going to let her intimidate me. Not anymore. If Dad can't protect me, I know I'm on my own and... I'll do what I need to do. Spoken like an Ortega survivor. Bring it in. Yeah! Okay, let's watch something on television. Hey, God. Bracky, anyone? John, John. <laughs> Is breakfast too difficult a word that it needs to be shortened? You're welcome, Mom. <laughs> hey, kiddo. Can we have a chat? Sure. In private? Whatever you want to say, you can say in front of Auntie Rose and Grandma. Okay. Well, I've been thinking about moving back to Singapore with Bridget and Max. And I was thinking that maybe you could come back and stay with us again. Stay or live? Live, of course. It's the slip of the tongue. <laughs>